welcome you back to another recurve bow video of me doing dumb shit. Yes, this is breaking my safety rules because I'm not a stickler about safety. I'm really not. I like to preach it to people that's starting off. But every man that has ever come across something asks themselves, not really should I, but can I? The should I tends to go out the window, in which this case the should I has completely went out the window. Now, would I suggest doing what I'm about to do with a compound bow? Probably not. You got one notch in there and it's expensive. Why, why break it? So don't go out with your compound bow. But if you had a spare recurve bow that was purdy like this one, I could imagine this would be um, something that's possible. And I'm sorry right now, guys, if you hear wind whipping constantly, it's the fall and there's an open field behind us. So you guys are going to be hearing wind. But let's go to what we're doing today. Today, we are going to see if we can shoot two arrows without any assistance accurately at that target right down there. Now, why say accuracy or can I shoot two arrows? I'm not saying I've tried it, but I have. All right, so we're gonna do this and try not to get caught because we all know that there's always that one dude that's on a range that's a stickler for rules that has to like critique everything everybody does and tell them exactly how to do it better and it's the type of person that like threatened to kick somebody off the range even though they don't work there. So we all know that type of person. If you've ever been to a gun range, you met somebody that said that your shoulder width and leg width needs to be this way and then they correct you and correct you and correct you and you're just there to shoot a gun and they're there to teach you lessons the whole entire time because they think they're the best but when it comes to the shooting competitions, they can't shoot shit. So, two arrows, all right. And while I get this ready, I like to thank everybody that has, you know, subscribed to me. That's awesome. Because I have like a steady view, viewing of uh, like 40, 50 people at a time. And that's pretty, that's pretty freaking awesome. You know, like I, I don't mind that it's such a low view rate. And why is that? Because y'all are dedicated. So I'd like to thank you guys. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do it. Because it's going to grow the group bigger. And you guys are going to have more to talk about with each other, not just with me. You know, it's more about the group mentality. It's not just about who runs the show. I, I run the show, but I'd rather you guys all get along, make friends, and... <laughs> one was accurate, one was not. All right, so, we're just doing one round, just because I don't want somebody coming out throwing a shit fest. It's not like they've ever thought to themselves, can I do something too and haven't tried it. It's just, they want to look cool in front of other people and be the person to get on to somebody for doing something stupid. That went right to the wood. That, my friends, is going to be fun to get out in a second. Because stupid is as stupid does. And like I said, it goes back to the whole, you know, concept that most of us men have of not the should I, but can I. And you know what? So without assistance, we are seeing, we are doing the scientific method of trial and error. We are seeing that my dumbass cannot get this accurate. This is the last arrow bash before we get in trouble, but that was almost about to fall out. That's exactly what I needed. We're talking about accuracy, and I'm not even caring if it falls out or not. So. Let's see the devastation, because I know you guys can't exactly see exactly downrange of where I'm shooting, but this type of dumbassery, let's, let's set you up good. Nah, nah. Right there. This is what you witness when you join me on an archery range, and I ask the can I, not should I. This is not the smartest thing I've done. This is gonna take a little work. I'm probably gonna bust off a, oh, hello there. We're good, we're fantastic. Thank y'all for joining me. I'm not gonna be doing that anymore in this range because I know this area is a little more stricter than most archery ranges. Um, some people would actually understand if I told them where I'm at, but I'm not gonna tell you guys where I'm at because it's kind of like my own little private archery range where nobody screws me. But thank y'all for joining me again please subscribe. I want the group to grow even more. I want us to have a little more fun with this stuff and it gives me more motivation to go out here and make videos, especially when I'm going to be freezing my, my dingling off this winter because, you know, 
it's winter in the Midwest in Illinois, Wisconsin area, it gets freaking cold. So definitely make sure you guys do that. Smash the like button. Go ahead and comment whatever you thought of how stupid I am. I might even comment how stupid I am below. You know what? I'm probably going to do it. But anyway, thank you all for joining me. This has been Chris Knight from Patriots of Weapons. You guys are awesome. Keep it up. Love y'all. Adios, amigos. And come up with other cool ideas for me to do. I might do them. Bye.